Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, got a fair amount to cover in this video, so I want to jump right in here. Uh, for yesterday's quote, the Idaho Mike suggested that the quote, Good Morning Campers, was used in the movie Heavyweights, and No Tell Ya Right One said that it might be used in the movie RV. And to be perfectly honest with you, I have not seen either of these movies, so I don't know if it's used in those or not. Uh, so I gotta give you that one. The thing that I was talking about where it was used, and I know it was used because I watched it just the other night, is in Stargate SG-1, Season 2, Episode 7, titled Message in a Bottle, Colonel Jack O'Neill says that line. I do not have a new quote for you for tonight. I will come up with another one for tomorrow. And let's see, in the meantime, also, uh, episode 128 of my Minecraft adventure will be uploading later on tonight after I uh, have a couple of hours to get it rendered and so on. And uh, speaking of Minecraft, I've also worked out kind of a schedule for what I want to do with the several different series that I'm running with that. On Mondays, I'm going to be doing the This is Minecraft tutorial series. On Wednesdays, I'm going to be doing the Minecraft Nostalgia series, which takes place entirely within Minecraft 1.5 underscore zero one beta. And then on Friday, I will be doing the Canopy Carnage series, which is a playthrough of a Vex super hostile map. Rather interesting. It's off to a pretty good start. And I've decided to make this schedule because I started these things and then I've kind of left a couple of them hanging here and I don't want to do that so I figured I'd work out this schedule for doing them and then of course on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday will be my adventures in Minecraft that takes place in my main world. Now, I did say in the comments on yesterday's video that I would attempt something of a rough explanation of the Mandelbrot Fractal. Trust me, my explanation probably isn't as good as the resources I've found to hand you for further information. But basically, you've got a rather simple formula that is used to calculate the points on an XY plane, you know, like a graph. You get your x-plane going horizontal and your y-plane going vertical and uh, on the x-plane you have real numbers on the y-plane you've got imaginary numbers and where those two numbers meet at any point in the grid is a complex number uh, exactly uh, what that means beyond that I don't really know I'm not a math expert but basically, you take those points, those complex numbers, for the entire image and uh, for the entire range of the X and Y planes, and you calculate them through this formula several times, basically iterating several times through the formula. And then uh, at some point, the result of the equation will either escape to infinity or it will settle somewhere within the set. And if it settles within the set, then you color that pixel black. If it escapes to infinity, you assign a color to that pixel based on how fast it escapes to infinity. And, well, I've got a few websites linked in the description that I think will do a whole lot better job of explaining it than I have. Uh, there's one called How to Plot the Mandelbrot Set by Hand, which gives a very good explanation in layman's terms for the most part, uh, exactly what the Mandelbrot set is, what the formula is that is used to calculate it, and then walks you through calculating the set, a small version of the set, by hand. And I think that's probably the best way to get a good understanding of uh, what the whole thing, how the whole thing works. Uh, for more in-depth, there is another website, Introduction to the Mandelbrot set, which goes into more detail. 
and then another website, Mandelbro Set Tutorial, which goes into painstaking detail and uses some advanced math to explain everything. I also have a couple of programs linked in the description. The first one is called Fractice and it is a freeware program that you can get from SourceForge. It does a very good job and it has considerable potential for almost unlimited zooms but it comes at a cost of a lot of processing power. The other program, which is the one that I've used on the latest uh, Zoom, is called Fractal Extreme. It is a shareware program that costs 35 bucks to register. The unregistered version will only Zoom 100 times, although that is monstrously deep. You know, 1.268 times 10 to the 30th power. That's huge, astronomical. And uh, the registered version, if you choose to pay for it, it can do over 6,000 zones. And I don't even want to think about what the number is that means. Okay, I was actually thinking to go into more detail and show the details of how I produced the last Zoom movie I used with that program. But I'm already up over seven minutes here, so I'm going to cut this off, and if folks are interested, I will be happy to continue this in the next video. Take it easy, and I'm out of here.